Welcome to part two of our top 10 tips and tricks for Windows 8.1. I am Lane Freeze with winrtsource.com. You can follow us on Twitter using our handles showing on the screen there. Firstly, I wanna show you how to set quiet hours for your device. That way you won't be disturbed while you're sleeping or doing something else that's important. Go to your settings charm, change PC settings, want to go to the home screen of the settings app, then search and apps, notifications, and as you can see there's an entire section dedicated to these quiet hours. I have mine set from midnight to 6 a.m. Although depending on what setting you have set here, you might still receive call notifications from Skype. But of course you can turn this on and off here. Swiping your finger in from the left side of the screen will show you the most recent apps. If you slide in and then back, you see the app drawer. If you just keep swiping your fingers in, you'll cycle through the apps. I think the app drawer right here is more useful. If you don't want to cycle through apps and you prefer to just see it that way, swipe in, tap settings, go to change PC settings, and you'll go back here to PC and devices and go to the corners and edges section. Untick this box and now when you swipe in from the left you'll just see that app drawer. It won't cycle between the different apps. I think that's just a lot more efficient at least for me. What if an app freezes on you? How do you restart it? Whether you're using a mouse or your finger Go ahead and grab at the top of the screen on the app, drag it to the bottom, and wait for that tile to flip over. This is the equivalent of killing an app in Task Manager. Bring your finger back to the middle of the screen, and the app will restart. You can free up a lot of disk space using this simple tip. Go to your desktop and either right click or press and hold on the start tip and tap on disk management. Now you can see here that I have about 13 gigabytes of free space on the C drive. If you right click or tap and hold on the drive and then click properties you can choose to compress the drive to save disk space as well, although this can mess things up depending on what type of files you have. Click on Disk Cleanup, and it will take a couple of moments to calculate the free space that you can create. I would go ahead and just go ahead and delete everything. Check all of these boxes. It's very unlikely there will be anything important in there if you're just using your device for personal use. As you can see, after I tick all of these boxes, I'm going to free up about 1.3 gigabytes of space. This will take some time to complete, depending on the device that you're using, 15, even 30 minutes. Lastly, I want to just show you guys a few things with the charms. Take advantage of these. These charms are the things that you access by swiping in from the right. Say I want to find music by a particular band. If I type in Muse and then hit enter, you can see that I have some files on my device already along the left side there. Album art, and then I have the name of the lead singer and some other general biographical information. I can tap on this Wikipedia button. If you have the app installed, it will take you right to the app. Otherwise, it will take you right to the Wikipedia website and the page for that particular thing that you're searching for. I can play all of these songs from Xbox Music or these albums or even get a link directly to a video on YouTube from here. I can access all sorts of pictures. It's just a very efficient way to search the web rather than just going to google.com or bing.com and then typing in your search there. So 
will also get web results with a little screen clip so you know exactly what you're going to find when you go to that website. Well, let's say I'm listening to a song and I want to learn about the lyrics. What is, what is he saying? Type in the name of the band, the name of the song, and then lyrics. And this will work for pretty much any song anywhere. It'll bring you up the lyrics right there without you even needing to go to a web page. And if you want to find maybe pictures of the lead singer of that band, if you type in their name, and then from this drop-down box, just select web images, you can also find videos, and it will pull those images up for you right there. You can change the image quality, the size. You can even sort by color. You can choose only images that are photos. You can choose between the actual format, the layout of the image. You can choose just images with faces in them or those only without faces very efficient search engine. I really recommend using that. Lastly, take full use of the share charm. Let's say you're just getting through with editing a photo. Maybe I'll change this one to uh, black and white. And now I want to share this with my friends. I could go to the Facebook app or I could swipe in, tap share. And I can do it right here. Of course, you could also email this to friends. You can post it on Twitter. Share it on Sketch so you can edit it. Add it to Evernote if you need to add that to a particular project. Or if I had my Windows phone connected via USB, I could actually put it into my phone using that share charm. We really hope that you guys found these tips and tricks helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do. You can always find us at winrtsource.com, your number one source for all things Surface.